Hi, I'm Matt from SurveyTech, and this is a brief video to explain the auto measuring module on XPad. Now, XPad has loads of great features, um, and the auto measuring module is just one of many. These are your standard ones Survey, Stakeout, Kogo. They all, you can scroll through them at the top, all very easy to use. Um, but this is the one we're talking about auto measuring. It's really easy to set up. First, you need to set uh, some control points. And these have to be different from the thing that you're monitoring because you don't want the whole thing to move. And so you, you simply tap control points and then add. Manual insert means typing in the coordinates. And measure, it obviously means measure. GPS connected. So you get that, you point it at the prism, and you can use any prism. I, I, I've just used some that I had lying around. You can use 360 prisms, mini prisms, monitoring prisms, whatever you want. Um, and then you set what kind of prism you want, you aim it at the prism, and then, uh, I mean, obviously you can use your own eyes, but why not use a robotic? Right, mate. Block. Block. Yeah. And simply tap. Measure. There you go. There's your list of control points, and you can have as many as you like. Doesn't matter. Um, then points to measure. Exactly the same format. All easy to use. And then you go into your settings. You can set your distance and elevation tolerances. I've got it set the rather spicy one mil and five mil. Um, you decide whether you want to save your measurements on external files. You can choose where to send your emails when you want to do that. It's all very, very easy to navigate, easy to use. And then the two formats you have are automa automatic measuring and single measuring. Single measuring is when you are by the instrument and you simply need to get real-time feedback. Simply click start and away it goes. You can go off for a cup of tea. Hello. No, that's right. It's just the bell to tell me that the auto measuring is finished. And there you have it. You can go in, have a look at your report. There's your points and your sessions. Oh dear, some of the tolerances have been overpassed. That might be something to do with the fact that I have just been liberally sprinkling prisms all around the room with no thought to actually uh, fixing them to anything. But then, if I don't want to stand around to get real-time feedback, I can use automatic measuring. And essentially, that sends you an email um, with all of the measurements that it's done. And you can set it to send you an email and do the measurements, obviously, at whatever uh, length of time you want. So it can be 15 minutes, it can be an hour, whatever the client asks for or you think is, is, is best. Um, within the settings you also have things like phase one and phase two so you, you can ask it to um, measure from both sides, you can choose how many measurements it makes and you can also uh, customize lots of different things like search windows so if you're having lots of prisms um, in, in one space, you can you can reduce the size of the, the search window so that there's no chance of it um, finding the wrong one. It's a, it's a really deft and customizable format. And here you go, it's, it's almost at the end of its countdown. And the great thing is, with these tablets, and you would be leaving it with a power source, you can use software that then plugs in, and you can check on it at any point. email
explaining what happened in the automatic measurement and then some attachments to the CSV file explaining all of the data there. And there are great plugins such as Vista Data Visualization so you can put it onto um, charts and, and maps and, and loads of other uh, customizable abilities. But at its fundamentals, really easy to set up, really easy to 